Hey guys, welcome back to ED Figure Unboxing. If you're finding me for the first time, don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel so you won't miss the future content. And in this video, we're gonna take a look at a Bring Art 6 inch action figure, Sora from Kingdom Hearts 3, and this is the Guardian form. And honestly, I'm not sure how I feel about this one. Of course, I'm really happy that Square Enix is finally doing one top scale. It's always been my dream. But seriously, how many color variants of Sora are we gonna get before we start seeing other characters? I feel like this should really go hard on the Final Fantasy line, like right now. like. It's better sooner than later, right? So, I don't know. I really want to see Cloud, I want to see Noctis, or even Cecil. Uh, but yeah, do let me know in the comments on what you think. But for a simple color variant with a different Keyblade, $80 is a little bit steep. But anyways, um, here's the left of the box, here's the right of the box, and here's the back of the box. Well, we don't even have a different box art. This is exactly the same box, except for the Guardian form sticker. But anyways, um, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. And here we have the figure still in the unit packaging, and he came with a bare minimum. And for $80, this is way too steep. But anyways, um, let's check out the figure itself. Alright, so here we have the figure itself. And like I talked about earlier, this figure is just a recolor of the previous release Sora. So if you have that figure or seen a review of that figure, you already know what to expect. And let's just take a closer look at the figure. Um, the figure looks amazing, I love the sculpt. And the paint job is really clean for the most part, except for a little bit of a paint bleeding where two colors meet, which is not a deal breaker to me. But I can also see people getting upset over this, because for $80, you expect it to be perfect, right? Um, I also like the pattern on his pants, and I like how they painted the inside of the leg. Um, great attention to detail. And yeah, um, let's jump straight into the articulation. I don't think there's anything you guys haven't seen already, so let's just try not to waste time. And for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. He can look up about this high, can't really look down, you can turn his head no problem. And the shoulder is just on a ball joint, and you do get a hinge over here so he can raise his arm up about this high. You do get some rotation, some movement, and you do have bicep swivel and curl about this much and ball wrist. For the ab crunch, you can bend forward about this much, backwards about this much. Side to side movement. Um, you get most of your movement from the lower torso though. This is a really nice ball joint. And for the leg, um, you can kick up about, yeah, this is the worst diaper piece I have ever seen from any figures. Um, let me just take off and show it to you guys. Like when you try to move around uh, with this, you have to like kind of adjust this so it doesn't like get caught up into the joints like that. So yeah, that is a little bit annoying. I guess Square Enix don't need to do some homework. And you can bend about this much. You do have some side-to-side -side pivot, and you do get um, some hinge movement over here, but no toe hinge though. And I believe that's it for the articulation. Um, still not as good as SH figures with Figma, but you know this is their first figure, so I'm pretty sure it's gonna get better. And let's check out the accessories. And for the accessories, we can start with the default head, which looks really good and exactly like the previous one. I feel like if they're gonna do this, they could have given us like a different expression, but yeah, whatever. And next up, we get a more serious expression, which we also got from the previous release. And then we have a pair of display open hands, and for some reason, I don't think they look good. Um, do let me know in the comments, but I feel like these could be more dynamic or something. I, I don't know, like they just look really plain to me. And lastly, we get a pair of hands to hold the Keyblade, and here is the Keyblade. Um, I'm not sure what this is called, but obviously inspired by Zeus from Hercules, and it's very nicely painted and sculpted. Um, they didn't use real chain for this, but I don't really mind that, and let's try to assemble this. And here I have him assembled with a Keyblade, which looks pretty good. And yeah, um, I believe that's it for the accessories, which is really sad, because I think this thing turns into a shield. Um, correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember this thing turns into a shield, and it can shoot out some missiles or something. I saw the trailer. But anyways, um, let's check out some action poses. Anyways, um, that was just some quick posing, and let's jump straight into the size comparison. And for the size comparison, we can start with the first release, Sora, and they look very good together. And I can't wait to get at least six more of these. <laughs> And next up, we have the Mesco One Top Collective, and I think they look great. And again, if you're still looking for a good trench coat for your Punisher, I am selling them in my online store, and the link is down in the description below. Just look at how good they look. And then we have the SH Figure Arts Naruto figures, which looks a little bit small. The Dragon Ball SH Figure Arts. Recent American IP SH Figure Arts. SH Figure Arts Street Fighters. Amazing Yamaguchi Venom and Wolverine. 
some of my favorite common writers. And lastly, we have some Figma figures, and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, I think this figure is only for hardcore Kingdom Hearts fans. Even then, I still think $80 is a little bit too steep for a simple recolor. At least give us a different faceplate or some extra weapons, right? I'm pretty sure that Keyblade can turn into something else. But anyways, um, I think that's it from me. Um, do let me know in the comments on what you think. Um, for the most part, it's still a really decent figure, but articulation still needs some work. And yeah, um, this is Eric. Don't forget to like and subscribe and follow me on Facebook, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace!